I'm taking another look at this Yale four wheel combination lock again. I've already done a video on this and Potty314 has also done a video on this, a better one than my one. The reason why I'm doing another video is because I had a comment with someone who had one and was still struggling to open this lock and indeed this is a tough lock to open and I still struggle with it as well. Maybe the person in question is struggling because the lock is an older lock and it might be slightly beaten up and maybe the feedback isn't so good. I don't know, but I thought I would do another video to show a different method to decode this lock just in case it's needed to open this lock. What I'm going to do is I've got a soda can, uh, very thin aluminium. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to, I'm going to cut out. It just cuts easier than paper. Okay. That would probably do. This is quite thin. Look at this in millimeters, then we're talking about, let's call it 0.08 or three thousandths of an inch. Now what I'm going to do with this lock, there are small gaps either side of the wheel, of each wheel. There seems to be spring tension so that there's a slightly wider gap at the bottom of the wheels, but I'm interested in what's at the top of the wheel. Okay, the top of the wheel meaning closest to the shackle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate each wheel to see if I can feel where the true gate is. Alright, I'll start upside down. I'm going to insert this in. I'm going to just drag it along. Okay, so when I drag it along, I'm starting to hit a maybe a hole here. It seems to be like a bit of a hole or a bump. So maybe the first number, the, the true gate really is zero. This combination has been set to a random combination by my wife using a random number generator. One thing I know is that the combination isn't all zeros, but the first wheel might be zero. Okay, let's go to the second wheel. Hmm, I'm sort of hitting a, um, a bump there as well. That's interesting. Could uh, these two wheels both be zero? Something a number, random number generator could come up with. Uh, let's go to the I'm not getting a speed bump there, so I'm going to turn it. Just going to carry on investigating all, all the way around the wheel. Actually, I'm getting a speed bump at, um, at, at one. Let's leave it at one. And this one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Turning it. Still nothing. 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 I'm feeling something at. Just, just before four. So maybe just before four, I'm just going to carry on checking. Oh, and a big one here at, um, at six. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that one just before four. So probably at six, I'm just going to carry on Checking the other numbers just in case. Going all the way around. Yeah, there's a, there's a big one at, 
at 6 by the looks of it. So I'll put it at 6. I'm going to check these other worlds. I'll check the other numbers just in case. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. Seems, yeah, something's up with 1, so I'll leave it at 1. Yeah, these both being zeros are a little bit suspicious. Maybe I should just check these two. No, I really think that is zero, and for this one, Seems to sort of be something at zero and at one and at two. That's interesting. So getting something at zero. Something at one, something at two. Seems to be more like one. Okay, so if I'm happy with these numbers, then for this lock, that'll mean the, the gates are in this position, but this won't open the lock because the gates need to be where the teeth are, so the teeth can go through the gates. So if I move each one three places around into the lock, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so I wasn't sure about that the lock's not open, I wasn't sure about this one. And the lock's open, okay. Because I wasn't sure if it was the uh, uh, zero, one, or two, but it was the zero because I tried the 7, 8 and 9 and the 7 worked. Okay, so that's how to feel where the gates are using something thin. I have a very thin uh, probe that I could have used but not everyone has access to that so I'm just showing that a soda can or pop can or whatever can easily be cut with a pair of scissors to slot in between and feel where the gates are and then this is a, a common technique that's used and once you feel the gates in line you move all the wheels together one, one by one until you get to the position where the teeth can go through the gates and in this lock I knew it was one, two, three that would do it. So that's an alternative method how to decode this lock if you've lost your combination. Thanks.